Hey Homestead Prepper and I wanted to show you my security camera system that I'm installing around my homestead and what you're you're actually looking at it right there and I've got one of the cameras camouflaged with Spanish moss and you, you can't even really see it unless you're gonna look dead on at it so let's uh, swing around right here and let's take a look at it yeah you can see it a little better from right here but still it's uh, it's not very noticeable unless we get a lot closer to it so that's one of them I'm gonna be using a combination of real cameras and decoys and uh, all kinds of stuff and I've got it mounted in this tree and I know some of you are saying well why don't you have a mounted around your house well I might have some mounted around my house and I might have some mounted around some trees so uh, let me just show you a little bit of what I've been doing. Um, I did it all underground and I've uh, presently dug about 350 feet of ditch by hand. And I know some of y'all are saying, well, well, why would you do it by hand and why would, uh, why would you use those shovels right there and not use a ditch witch? Well, in the course of digging, digging this one ditch right here, I ran across three conduits. If you're uh, running in an area that's uh, you know has never had anything on it before then you'd probably be fine but um, some years ago uh, I did some work for a guy you know, have some notoriety here in the Tampa Bay area and uh, my partner felt motivated to go get a ditch witch and he tore up all of the sprinkler system and all kinds of stuff and we spent more time repairing that and replacing things than if we just hand dug it so that's what I'm doing and I put the uh, the wiring, it's low voltage wiring in conduit. It's 18 inches to the top of the pipe and I've uh, got it buried in sections here. I need to finish covering this up. I had to, uh, you can't really do much digging around here when you're next to oak trees and stuff if you have to use an axe. You can see the roots. Uh, some of the larger roots, oh there's a, there's a conduit I went underneath. I found that and the shovel didn't chop it up but uh, some of the larger roots I didn't chop them out I just ran the pipe the conduit underneath it like right there see that's a large root I didn't want to cut it but uh, this is the project I've been working on and I just pulled the wires in there and it uh, I've got some junction boxes around here let me let me show you what I've been doing Well, this is my main pull box and uh, the advantages of having your wiring in conduit is it's not going to be subject to physical damage if anybody does any digging and uh, also if I ever move uh, I can just pull it out and reuse it so that's uh, that's a plus and here's another junction box I've got and uh, another idea I'm gonna throw at y'all is if you're going to put security cameras up and you know maybe you don't have Spanish moss in your area you can uh, you can use a birdhouse or that's actually a bat house we bought some years ago and that's actually about 25 feet up that palm tree and you can put your camera in that and that will disguise it and I uh, there again some of y'all are saying well why would you you know dig and why wouldn't you just put it up around put your cameras up on your house well uh, I, like I said uh, I may have some on my house I may not it depends but um, let, me, let me just show you what I'm talking about here okay guys I'm uh, actually on a lot that's next to where I live it has uh, some acreage to it and it'll probably never be built on but um, when the crap hits the fan I'm probably gonna have people come over through this lot if they are bad people with bad intentions trying to get to me they're probably not gonna come up the main road um, and they're gonna come through something like this where they have concealment and I'm not gonna be able to see them so the idea I've got is you can see that that is the other side of the bat house right there so if I had a camera there I could run a wire from there over back in here somewhere if I have prepped and had wiring available uh, and then 
I could monitor this area because like I said this is where they're going to come in at is something like this when the crap hits the fan I doubt very seriously they're going to walk up the main drive I mean they might uh, I would say right now while times are good that's more likely when uh, the bad guys are going to come up your drive so that they can unload your house when you while you're at work so but uh, anyway guys this this is my line of thinking and I'm not going to install the cameras on this property right now because I don't own it but if uh, things start breaking down I will put some cameras over here so anyway just FYI some of y'all are probably wondering how I'm getting the wire up the tree and what I'm doing is I'm using this uh, metal conduit right here and I've touched it up with rust-oleum uh, it's actually a very complex color for these live oaks right here it's got browns tans grays greens and stuff in it so uh, I've done that and over time these vines will grow up there and I've got a wire I ran up a tree about 15 years ago and I didn't paint it or anything but you can look at those vines right there and you can see you can see that conduit right there how it's got the vines around it and what it went up to is that uh, yard light so over time it'll blend in more but anyway that's how I'm doing it and I've got some more ditch to dig here like I said I've already done 350 feet I've got about another 400 feet or so to dig and I'm putting some cameras out there by the main road because I want to see who's coming and who's going and all that so let me uh, let me show you a little bit more about the system this is the type of camera I'm using it's outdoor rated and I went with the high definition because I might want to see license plates um, <clears throat> I got um, some cable rolled out here that's what came with it some hundred footers and I got some extra cable here you can get that off of Amazon too 200 feet or 61 meters this 100 footer came with it and I got the eight camera set up and um, if you think hooking up your own security system is too difficult you're wrong because basically this type of system all it does is plug in I mean it's very very simple let me show you And that's all there is to it now being that I'm running some of these outdoors I'm uh, putting some of this on here now I know some of y'all like Nolox or Deox compound and that that's fine too but um, I use that stuff where I'm putting it under pressure for right here I just want to keep the uh, moisture from corroding the terminals and I'm using this stuff to seal it and if you've never used this stuff it's great I mean for this low voltage application it's fantastic and it's just uh, a putty you break off a piece you wrap it around there now if you're going to run the cables uh, more than what they have supplied here you're going to need a BNC connector and the way that works let me get this over here is that this one will plug in like that and this this connects to here because that's the male and the female ends but over here you've got two ends like this you need this connector and you can keep on going so uh, it's like I said guys it's pretty simple and in the back of the machine it hooks up very simply uh, the problem that I'm gonna have is trying to get it where it can I can see it on my smartphone and that's a little more technical but uh, I'll get that figured out so I just want to show that to you okay this is one of the cameras I have set up and it comes with this little remote control and I whenever you set up cameras you need to trim trees so I've got some trees I need to trim right there but that's looking over some of my uh, containers and another area of my property let me show you another thing that we're looking at over here this is uh, that's our private drive and let's see what we can see happen on that
Okay guys, this is my uh, system. This is what it hooks into and it just plugs in. You just hook one of the cable in here. That's the power. Uh, they had a wireless system, but you still have to provide power to it. So I went with the wired system and then this just screws on here like that. It's very simple. And I think I have 15 days of recording that it'll do. Um, I can also hook it into a cloud and I can record everything or I can get a, uh, uh, a backup module here that will have more, uh, more uh, uh, capacity on it and this is an HDI, HDMI cable that I ran up here to my uh, television so we can watch it right here. So, you know, I just want to show that to you. It's not very difficult at all to uh, install. Like I said, the hardest part is going to be reading the instructions and trying to uh, get it where I can get it on my cell phone. So, okay. Okay, guys, in closing, I just want to say that uh, the system was relatively easy to install. Uh, of course, minus the digging, the excavation. Uh, it hooks up really simple. Uh, the system was a little pricey, but uh, it is high def, and I feel like being able to see the details, the extra little details, is is worth it. I do have a Harbor Freight system that is a supplement to this, and uh, if you're into prepping, you're going to obviously have some backups, and that's what I'm going to have. And also, you know, if you're looking to have a security system and when and if the crap hits the fan, you need to also have some way to, you know, have an alternative power supply so you can watch what's going on. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm not a security uh, camera expert by any means, but um, if y'all have any questions, I'll try to help you the best I can. This is the Homestead Prepper out.